Now, your KSBW weather forecast with Chief Meteorologist Lee Solomon. Good evening, everybody. A lot to dig into tonight. It was a quiet day for the most part. A little rain up in the Santa Cruz Mountains. Everybody else with a mix of sun and clouds. 50s out there right now. Even some low 60s. So all the cold from February, that's pretty much all gone. These systems coming in now straight from the west or even from the tropics. So it's going to be pretty mild, but it's going to get wet and it's going to get a bit windy. Already breezy. South winds 5, 15, 20 miles an hour throughout the day. And they're still pretty much running at those speeds and they'll continue to do that overnight and actually increase tomorrow. Plume of moisture coming in. It's the proverbial atmospheric river. We've had a few of those this winter and here comes another one. Right now it's pointed at Northern California. Area of low pressure right here. The moisture tap goes all the way back. You can see the Hawaiian Islands right down there. So it doesn't quite go to Hawaii, but it goes far enough south that we'll call it subtropical certainly. As what's going to happen is area of low pressure is going to combine with the moisture that's when we get the bulk of our rain, and that's really not until tomorrow night. But up in northern California, not that far from us, just over the Golden Gate, it's been raining pretty steady, moderate to heavy at times from this morning right through the afternoon, and it's still doing that. That line of moisture is not moving at this point. So again, that moisture will continue to just be to our north. You can see all areas in the Central Valley from Sacramento up into the Sierra getting a lot of heavy, wet snow. The Sierra Cement Factory is uh, definitely running overtime right now. Future cast shows the plume of moisture stays to our north for the most part tonight. There will be some light rain in the Santa Cruz Mountains, down maybe into Santa Cruz, a scattered shower anywhere really. But the bulk of this you can see is north of the Golden Gate through tomorrow morning, but a wet commute probably on 17. Already had some rain there, so factor that in for the morning. Now what's going to happen during the day, you can see the line starts to shift southward by tomorrow evening at this time. Heavier rain knocking at the door, give it take a couple of hours. Nothing's perfect in the forecast, but again, the trend is for the line of moderate to heavy rain to move south tomorrow night. That's when that area of low pressure comes in. We're dealing with winds of 20 to 30, occasionally gusting to 50 tomorrow night. So some spots along the coast will feel that and the hills. The heavy rain will move through Tuesday night into Wednesday morning, and then we're back to shower. So the bulk of this for most of us will be tomorrow night. But again, from Santa Cruz, especially the mountains northward, we've got a lot of rain. Russian River, probably going to flood on this one. Hillsburg in the bullseye could see upwards of 8 to 10 inches up there. Watch how it shifts southward, though. Now, this is one of the models that's really predicting the most rain. I'm not going to forecast 8 or 10 inches in the Santa Cruz Mountains or the Santa Lucias, but it's a possibility. 3 to 6 is a good possibility. So again, copious amounts of rain falling on saturated soils leads to problems like small mudslides, rock slides, road closures up in the Santa Cruz Mountains, trees coming down with the wind in association with the rain and the saturated soils. That leads to power outages. Again, the bulk of this is northern parts of our viewing area. 41 to 48. Chance south tomorrow and tonight. Rain Santa Cruz northward, basically. Temperatures in the upper 40s to around 50, so it's certainly not going to be cold overnight, but it's going to be damp. 58 to 62. Tomorrow's an impact day because we are going to have impacts on the local roads. The commutes are going to be slow. And again, if you're traveling northward, it's going to be very difficult, especially north of San Francisco. For tomorrow, highs in the 50s to low 60s. So kind of mild, even though it's cloudy, overcast, raining at times. And then the heavier stuff again coming in tomorrow night. So here's how it plays out over the next few days. By Wednesday, we're back into just some showers. We'll keep a slight chance Thursday. These are really our drying out days. And then another system comes in over the weekend for more rain on Saturday and uh, probably gets out of the way. It's kind of a quick mover. Hopefully Sunday is dry and then we got a couple more days to kind of take a break. Tuesday night is a severe weather night because, you know, we probably will have some road closures, probably some mudslides and trees coming down. Very dangerous night to travel. And then Wednesday night, we're back to showers. And then we got more rain Friday night and Saturday night. So it's going to be little breaks in between. And I'm hoping that we end up on the low end of our forecast. Right. So we have less issues because we don't really need that much more rain for the yeah, winter. We're good. Okay. But that's the way it's, you know, it's turning out. What do we do? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We got to do what we can.